G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. You have to excuse the voice, I'm just getting over the flu. Now, this video was uh, weren't meant to be made because I was hoping something like this would never ever happen. I didn't even thought about it to be honest. But I'm making this now and I've got about two months worth of videos uh, Wednesdays and some Saturday ones to come up so this is going backwards in time. Cheap tea light candles. Now I've been using these little things, this is the uh, the micro candle lantern similar to the UCO and I bought some cheap four hour tea light candles to go in it. A big mistake I'll just give you up front if you're going to buy tea light candles from what I experienced get good ones don't get the cheapy ones where you get a, what two or three dollars and you get ten or fifteen in a pack if you're going to be using anything like this if you're camping because you've got to think this is meant to hang up in a tent also with it being so small so pop it up <coughs> because it gives off very little heat so once you get here you'll feel it and the further and further and further and further away then you got the loop and then you got your tent another couple of inches up never any issues normally now this time I'm glad I was using the bivvy because I had this on the table about a meter away from my bivvy bag and everything I was out one night group campsite nobody else there nice big beautiful thunderstorm coming in sunset down there and see the moon up this side and it was coming over as the sun went down so just threw my um, bivvy my sleeping bag sleeping mat on the table so I could lay there and look out down into the valley and watching the moon move and just beautiful this thing was sat like I said about a meter away the candle flickered for about four or five minutes the wax began to melt and it went into flames Poof. the whole thing is <laughs> discolored with all the black in there now I've got an acca tendon in my thumb down here at the moment so I've tried getting this off and I'll give it another go and see what the damage is like inside but with these you've got a level where you've got a tea light on top and on the under the base you can unscrew that and you've got somewhere to have a spare tea light so I'm expecting with all the flames that came out of this and heat and how long it took to go out I think that bottom one may have melted a bit and overflowed so yeah let's give it a go of getting it open so <coughs> nope <laughs> I think it might be uh, some grips maybe needed but looking at it all the plastic around here has mounted so yeah it might end up breaking it oh well let's give it a go whether we break it or not if I don't give it a go and get it open I'll never be able to use it again Well, we got anything in here. Okay, small screwdriver, big heavy hammer. <coughs> I don't know if we can get this glass section out at the moment. Let's, let's have a go. Uh, it's all stuck and mounted. Uh, as I say, don't do this at home. <laughs> Mind your fingers if you do.
Oh, I think it's moving. Here it goes. Oh no, it stopped. <laughs> Got it. Now, looking at that, you can see with all the black, that did not burn properly, did it? The rest of this looks okay, but like I said, I haven't opened that yet. I'm just to give that a clean off. Move that out of the way a minute. Let's see if we can open this because inside here there's a spare tea light candle. So. <laughs> yep. Doesn't want to open yet. Let's keep giving it a clean and a, try and prize it a little bit. It's moving a little bit now. It's in there. No, that one didn't melt. Now this is one of those little cheap citronella ones. And I've got a pack of them, so they'll be going in the bin. And I'm going to go and invest in some half decent ones because apart from needing a clean, that's all in one piece still. Glass still is it coming down? Is it? Oh no, it doesn't look like this one's meant to come down. We've got where it comes in, it folds underneath the glass. This piece comes down, buckles out, then wraps around. And you can just see where it comes over. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It comes over and holds onto the glass. So yeah, I'm going to give that a quick wash and I'll be back in a moment. <coughs> okay, it's got this piece fairly clean. Just with some warm water. Give it a quick dry, not 100% but even though it was a mishap what happened, let's say this glass took a right hammering because the flames were actually bellowing out the sides here and it was about six inches high the flames were. So yeah that, that handled it well. I need to give this all a proper clean up. Yeah, you can see a little bit where the knurling melted but nothing bad on that this bottom piece again even with the heat you can see a bit of that's just the wax on there so that needs a clean up but all in all this was okay 
Yeah, that'll, that'll clean up pretty easy. Yeah, no, no damage to the plastic underneath. No damage to the plastic around the edges, so anywhere. There's a bit of metal that sits on there. I'll put that back on when it's all cleaned up. Put all the melted wax in there still. All in all, the actual little micro uh, candle lantern handled it all pretty damn well. I'm impressed with that, I was half expecting with the flames when it came up. So I had to grab it off the table and I walked it about four or five paces away and the flames were up here so as I was moving it was blowing the flames away from my hands lucky enough and I just put it down outside the shelter on this in the sand and just let it burn out but yeah them things might well, smell good but they're bloody dangerous so yeah I'll be going back to finding some decent candles because I could only imagine if that was in my tent, which I do hang sometimes with a candle going, I would have lost the tent and probably would have hurt myself with the uh, the flames that was coming off the tent if I was in there. So, yeah, get some decent candles. I'll put a few of them through there to make sure they're okay before I even think about putting it near a tent or any canvas of any sort or any nylon. Yeah, that to that. So, no, they're not even a four hours one, they're just a normal two hour candles. So normally I carry the four hour candles in these. But yeah, think about your safety. Don't bother with the cheapy candles, go and get some decent ones. Test a couple of them, make sure they're gonna burn okay. And if your candles are a year old or more, I would throw them away or not use them in one of these and just have them around the campsite if you want well away from your tent or where you are. But yeah, I hope that's given you a little bit of advice about keeping safe because that was a little bit scary when I saw the candle going up and the flames coming out the top of here. So, okay, I hope you got something from this video. So I think you would have done no matter who you are, how long you've been camping and everything else about how dangerous these cheap candles are little tea light ones yeah, I won't be using them again, I'll be going to find some decent ones so if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed please go down below, click on the subscribe button and then click the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. Go and hit that like button.